Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Study at Ease. I hope everyone is safe. So today we are going to study the topic box plot. A box plot or a box and whisker plot uses a number line to show the distribution of a set of data by using the median, quartiles and extreme values. A box is drawn around the quartile values and the whiskers extend from each quartile to the extreme data points that are not the outliers. Let's understand in depth by doing an example question. The question says that draw a box plot for the given set of data. Now some of the numbers are listed like 25, 35, 27, 22, 34, 40, 20, 19, 23, 25 and 30. Step 1. We have to arrange the numbers in the ascending order or from smallest to greatest. So here we go. It's 19, 20, 22, 23, 25, 25, 27, 30, 34, 35 and 40. Step 2. It is to find the median Q1 and Q3. So we're going to write the numbers again. So it's 19, 20, 22, 23, 25, 25, 30, 34, 35 and 40. So in order to find the median, we start marking the numbers from the two ends. So finally, we arrive at the number which is in the center, which will be the median. So here we reach the number 25. So 25 is in the middle and it becomes the median. After we find the median, we have to make two data sets to either side of the median in order to find the first and the third quartile. From the first data set, we find the middle value, which is 22. So the Q1 or the first quartile is 22. Also, from the second data set, we take the middle value 34, which is the third quartile. So Q3 is equal to 34. So let's write them down as Q1 is equal to 22 and Q3 is equal to 34. Also, let us mark the extreme values, that is the minimum and the maximum. The minimum value is 19 and the maximum value is 40. So, box plot is all about showing the distribution of data using a number line. So, here we have a number line and I'm going to show you how to make a box plot. So all the values like the minimum, maximum, median, Q1, Q3, whatever we have found from the given data, we are going to mark them on a number line. Okay. So here the minimum value is 19 and the maximum value is 40. I've marked them. The next thing, the median, which is 25. After that, we're going to mark uh, Q1, which is 22 and Q3, which is 34. So on a number line, we have marked all the given information. Now we're going to see how to draw a box plot out of this data. In order to draw a box plot, we have to draw vertical lines on the top of the Q1, median and Q3. So in this question, it is 22, 25 and 34. Now join these three lines to form a box. Now we have two other values which are the extreme values, the minimum and the maximum. In the place of the minimum and the maximum, we're going to mark two points. Now from the box, draw two whiskers to join these points. The figure so obtained is called as a box plot. Now let's have a look at what is a symmetric and skewed box plot. The first one is negatively skewed. The negatively skewed means 
As you can see in the figure, the left whisker is longer than the right. The median is closer to the shorter whisker. The second one is symmetric. Now again, by looking at the figure, you can understand that the whiskers are the same length. The median is in the center of the data. And the last one is positively skewed. Positively skewed means the right whisker is longer than the left. The median is closer to the shorter whisker. So, when it is positively skewed, we can see that the right tail of the distribution is longer than the left. So, that's the end of today's session. I hope the concept of box plot and the types of box plot is clear to you. Now, if you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next session. Bye.